In this video, I want to show you the benefits of taking vitamin D on a regular basis. I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I help athletes and active people feel and perform your best regardless of age or injuries. Vitamin D is one of the supplements that I think the majority of people should take on a regular basis. Now, with any supplements, any vitamins, it's obviously a good idea to talk to your doctor to see if it's right for you. And there are blood tests where you can find out if you are vitamin D deficient. A huge percent of the percentage of the population is vitamin D deficient. There was a study done, I think it was in the American Journal of Sports Medicine, looking at the New York Giants. This was probably seven or eight years ago. And I don't remember the exact number, but it was something like 81% of, you know, some of the best athletes in the world, these NFL players, were vitamin D deficient. Now, vitamin D is not actually a vitamin. It's, it's sort of a provitamin. Vitamins are substances that your body can't make. And so you have to take it in either through food or, or pill form or something like that. Our bodies can actually make vitamin D through sun exposure. So one of the ways to get vitamin D is to regularly expose yourself to the sun. Now, obviously you want to do that safely and not just bake out there all day long. But you know, a short period of time, 10 to 15 minutes, two to three times a week is thought to be enough. Again, remember potentially wearing sunscreen. The problem with sun exposure is that our bodies don't store vitamin D for very long because it breaks down. So if we're indoors for long periods of time or long stretches, you know, months at a time like winter, you may again be vitamin D deficient because you're not getting sun exposure. But getting exposure to the sun is a good way to get vitamin D. Now, if you don't do that, then we're going to talk about supplementation. Why would we consider supplementation of vitamin D? Well, there are thought to be a number of health benefits regarding vitamin D. The first that I think we're going to talk about and it's near and dear to my heart are healthy bones. Vitamin D is involved in the regulation of your body's calcium and phosphorus levels, two minerals that are extremely important to maintaining healthy bones. So in terms of long-term bone health, maybe decreased risk of fractures and you know, because of osteoporosis and things like that, vitamin D can be very, very important. We also think vitamin D actually helps decrease your risk of contracting the flu. And for, I'm sure at some point you've probably had the flu, that can be really tough, especially for kids and the elderly, but nobody wants to be sick with the flu. You know, where you're out of work or out of school, a day or two days or three days, and it's not like it's fun at home. You feel terrible with fevers, maybe nausea, vomiting, you know, all the sort of flu symptoms. So taking regular vitamin D supplements might actually help decrease your chance of contracting the flu. Another one, we think that vitamin D helps treat or prevent depression. There are a num number of studies that show lower rates of depression. So uh, that's a pretty pervasive problem uh, in the United States. A huge percentage of adults in the United States have depression. So that may be something else you talk to your doctor about. Now, vitamin D is also thought to be involved in cell metabolism and communication. And so it's actually thought to be beneficial for cancer. There is some evidence that vitamin D supplementation may actually slow cancer growth. So people with cancer, you know, if you go to some of these academic centers, they, they're doing trials with high doses of vitamin D as one of the you know, number of different strategies to treat that cancer. So if, if you're dealing with cancer, that may be something you ask about. Another thing that you might be interested in, this is a little more cosmetic, but there are some studies that show that vitamin D supplementation, especially with calcium, can actually help with weight loss. We don't know what it is. Some people suggest that maybe calcium and vitamin D have an appetite suppressing effect, but that can be a benefit. The people that take calcium and vitamin D supplements, pills versus a placebo, do seem to lose a little bit more weight. So that, again, that's, there's all sorts of strategies for weight loss, but that may be something that you consider as well. Okay. Now, how can you get enough vitamin D? Now, there are foods that you can potentially eat. There's fatty fishes, there's fish oil supplements that can help with vitamin D, skim milk and eggs. But still, again, the majority of the population, or at least a large percentage, have vitamin D deficiency, so even your diet, that may not be enough. So you can do supplementation. And at least as of now, the recommended uh, daily dose of vitamin D is about 600 micrograms for kids between basically one year old and 18 and for adults 18 to 70. Now, there are a lot of doctors out there. My doctor is one who recommend higher doses. She talks about 2000 
uh, units per day. Uh, I've heard people talk about 5,000. I've heard people talk about 1,000. So this is really something worth talking to your doctor. And it's probably not a bad idea to get a blood test to find out your vitamin D levels. But again, there's a lot of benefits to vitamin D and getting your vitamin D in that sort of optimal range. So, you know, depending on, you know, what you're trying to achieve. And again, vitamin D deficiency is associated with a number of, of health issues, things like cardiovascular disease and high blood pressure, mental issues like Alzheimer's disease and multiple sclerosis and, and Alzheimer's, asthma, rheumatoid arthritis. So it's worth finding out and definitely consider if taking a regular, a daily vitamin D supplement is worthwhile for you. I hope this was helpful. Leave your comments below if you have thoughts about vitamin D, and I'll see you in our next Better Than Ever video.